Welcome back. Today in our Sunday Spotlight, we're talking about artificial intelligence, or AI. It's something we've seen play out in movies, but what about in real life? A now suspended Google engineer recently claimed one of its programs, a conversation technology, has become sentient, meaning it's able to generate conversations on its own. Many computer scientists dispute that's actually happened, but what is AI, and is there anything that should concern us about it? Here with insight on that is Dr. Vahid Besadan. He is an assistant professor of data science at the University of New Haven. Professor, thank you so much for being with us, and I guess we have so much to worry about. We've got COVID, then they're talking monkeypox, there's inflation, there's, there's war, there's conflict. Do I have to worry that my toaster is going to come to life? Well, that depends on how you define life, but no. To give you a short answer, no, not just yet. So what does this all mean? Um, Break it down for us. You're the expert. So I'm going to start by defining AI, and I don't want to turn this into a classroom. AI is the technology for automated decision making. It's the, the, the set of techniques used to enable computers to make decisions on their own. Just to clarify, computers have been making decisions for as long as they existed. They don't just crunch numbers anymore. They actually make decisions based on certain conditions. It's just that recently with the advances in machine learning, computers are learning those conditions that they make the decisions based on from data. They look at samples of how decisions are made by humans, by other entities, and they try to pick up the patterns that are common between uh, certain types of decision, and they try to replicate it. That includes looking at pictures or images or videos and trying to recognize what's inside those images, looking at pieces of text and deciding on different components of the text, the meaning of the text, the intent of the text, the sentiment of the text, holding conversation that include, uh, and other examples include uh, deciding on how to move. Many of us may have, uh, may have uh, robotic vacuum cleaners uh, at home. Those are making decisions at any point that they are active. They make decisions about uh, navigation, which way to move towards which uh, uh, when to activate their vacuum and so on. So to sum it up, AI is the science and technology of computational decision making. But then we use the word sentient in the introduction to you, and that's what this this Google uh, engineer said. I, I looked it up. It's not a word I've ever used in, in my daily conversation. It's an adjective. It means able to perceive or feel things. So if AI is designed to make decision making, when do you cross that line into perceiving and feeling things? And, and, and has that happened? If the question is when, the answer is many, many years ago. If the question is how, well, AI requires input from the environment to make decisions that may affect the output. There are certain branches of artificial intelligence that uh, essentially interact with the environment, learn how to behave so, such that they can achieve a certain objective, like move from point A to point B, or play a game, and so on. With that definition of sentient, um, AI has been sentient since its very beginning. If it has to do with consciousness, self-awareness, on the other hand, that's a deeper question. How can we measure self-awareness? In the example of Google's technology, the Lambda uh, conversational agent, Lambda stands for language model for dialogue. Uh, it's a language model. It's a machine learning model trained to predict the next word or the next sequence of words. How is it trained? It's, uh, it's uh, been looking at samples of conversation, samples of dialogue, and it tries to come up with a way that it can predict what a coherent, relevant sequence of words should be in response to a particular question or a query. Is, is it self-aware? I'm not entirely sure what that term means. All systems are self-aware in the sense that they, they are aware that they have to accomplish a task. Does it have any larger implications in this particular case in terms of terminators coming to life? Not exactly. The concerns are elsewhere. This 
uh, agent is learning from uh, many, many different resources on the internet, like Reddit, like forums, like websites, blogs, Twitter, and so on. And it's essentially becoming a character of its own with certain viewpoints, certain ways of responding to questions and so on. And an ethical challenge here is, are the viewpoints that it learns uh, in accordance to the ethics of our society? Well, and I, I wanna just stop you there because we only have a few seconds left. Just let me finish with this. You got 10 seconds. Should I be scared of this? Not yet, no. So then we'll come back and check in with you. That was super interesting stuff. A lot I didn't know. I appreciate you being with us. Vahid Bazanin, uh, Assistant Professor of Data Science at University of New Haven. Thank you for being with us here on CT22.